Welcome to Simmerclips. The question we're going to be looking at today is inspired by our course Query GA4 Data in Google BigQuery. And check the video notes for more information about this and our other courses. Here's the question. I changed the default expiration of my dataset to never, but tables are still expiring after 60 days. This is related to how when you set up a BigQuery account in the sandbox, you only have the ability to create data sets that have a default expiration of 60 days. And after 60 days, each table is expired and the storage capacity is returned back to the quota. When you upgrade your account away from BigQuery sandbox to the regular BigQuery billing account, this limitation is removed. However, any tables you already had created in the sandbox will still have the default expiration of 60 days. So when we look at a solution to this problem, it's kind of a fun thing to do because it has a very easy answer. It's totally doable. You can easily remove that expiration limitation. However, when you have 60 tables to go through, it takes a lot of manual work. So we're going to take a look at how to do this in bulk using a very handy BigQuery command to do so. When you create a new BigQuery dataset in the BigQuery sandbox, you will have this default table expiration of 60 days. And so when you upgrade your BigQuery account out of the sandbox, you can expand the expiration beyond that 60 days. So with the default table expiration, what it means that whenever a new table is created into this data set, it, it will automatically be set to expire in 60 days time. And it, once those 60 days are reached, the table is deleted and its storage is released back to your quota. So if you want to change the default table expiration, that's very easy to do, assuming you've upgraded out of the sandbox. You open the data set in BigQuery UI and you click edit details. And here you just uncheck the table expiration option and save. And when you do this, the default table expiration is updated to never. So now whenever you create a new table in this data set or when GA4 creates a new table in this data set, it will be set to never expire. One problem is that tables that have already been created still have that 60 day expiration. So updating the default expiration of the data set will not up automatically update the table expirations for those tables that have already been created. Now you could click edit details and set none as the expiration time for each table. But if you have the maximum of 60 tables, for example, in the BigQuery daily, daily export, it's gonna be a lot of clicking. So an, an alternative approach is to run an alter schema query in BigQuery itself. So the alter table command can take a table and update its options, such as the expiration timestamp and set it to null. But if you want to loop through all the tables in the data set, you can't just do a wildcard query. You actually need to use some DDL. So DDL is a data definition language that BigQuery can use to run kind of programming commands, which can then execute BigQuery SQL queries using the execute immediate command. So in this case, for example, we're creating an array of all the tables in the data set. We're creating counter, which will loop through them. And then we have this execute immediate command, which selects all the table names from the information schema. And I'm just using uh, a where clause here to restrict the tables I'm gonna be updating. But if you wanna update all the tables, you just remove this where clause as I've done in the example query in the notes of this video. So the, the table names are stored in this array called list of tables. And then we have a loop where we run through all the tables until we've looped through all the tables in the list. And for every table in the list, we run the alter tables query, dynamically pulling each table name from the array, and then we set the options. And we set the options so the expiration timestamp is null, and then we increase the counter with each loop iteration. So this is just a very simple loop running through all the table names in your data set and updating the expiration timestamp for all those tables to null, which means that they will never expire. So let's run this query and see what happens. If you expand the results you can see that it's running those table commands it will not run them immediately it takes a while for it to loop through all the procedures in this case it ran through all my october tables because that's how i limited with the where clause now if we go to an individual table in october for example october 30th you can see that the table expiration has now been set to never so with a simple ddl you can update the metadata of all the tables in your data set and in this case, we update the expiration timestamp to never. 
Remember that you also need to update the default table expiration to never to make sure that any tables that are created in the future will not have that 60-day restriction.